This is a small little village area, and it looks like. Okay. Alright, let's go to the fire. Just give me the outtakes. This is a small little area south of Puerto Vallarta, and it's really nice. It's like a jungle, it's a whole different environment. Lots of palm trees and things like that. So, we're going to kind of walk down the roads and see what's here and explore Puerto Vallarta south. It's a little, uh, it's not too bad. Definitely feel it. It's good to be out in it, although I'm getting pretty wet now. But that's all right. A lot of boats out there. Uh, as you can probably tell, it's very, I don't know, active out here with the water. And this is south of Puerto Vallarta, quite a far way south. Took a Uber to get down here and uh, pretty cool. It reminds me a little of uh, the Amalfi Coast. Um, not quite the same, but still pretty cool. A lot more locals out here, it seems like, or you know, uh, people from Mexico on vacation rather than people from America on vacation. Some, I imagine. But uh, it's really nice. and. Uh, interesting because it's uh, the ocean but it doesn't smell very bad and really active and really nice I got a little wet but a, a very nice day no clouds as you can see so good weather I think it will dry out and be comfortable very quickly certainly you have to be very careful on these roads that uh, they're not quite as updated so it's up to you to kind of keep your eye out on where you're going and where you step but hopefully it's not your last all right, well, this is the end of the line as far as this area is concerned. And you can see a nice uh, view of the bay there. And Puerto Verota, really far in the back, so you look really far. So we've come quite a ways, and it's like, uh, I mean, it's really like being out in a jungle here. Uh, the topography, the terrain has changed quite a lot. So um, I suggest if you're in the area and you can get out here, why not get out here and have some What's fun? What's it called? Uh, what's this place called? Yeah, I have no idea. Well, <laughs> it's a, you, have to, you have to add it to your I'm video. I'm gonna put it in a post. Look below. Look, yeah, look below. Right there. You're gonna see what it's called. It's right here. <laughs> yeah. Up in the corner. The next video, even better. So up in the mountains of southern Puerto Vallarta, and still a road, but it's getting a little. Uh, there's a pig. Let's see now. There's a pig. We could call YouTube, but I'm cheating. Well, not YouTube. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Very, uh, very jungly, I guess. Like a different country. Not quite as quiet as you would assume, but it is a busy road. Music people and cars we have reached a Mexican can you hear you? no you can because it's uh, I have the this thing on I, 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 can't, I don't understand I can't hear oh my gosh all right hold on let me start over that'll be outtake ready we have reached a uh, Mexican restaurant a nice place on the beach the beach is right there a lot of boats are out there docked and um, Hard to tell if they're waiting for people, if they came in just for the, the beach or they're just rides. I don't know. A lot of pelicans flying by. Good food. Uh, we're drinking Modelo. It goes back a long way. And uh, it's really nice. It's, uh, it's, I think this place is more for 
people that are more indigenous that like live in Mexico or uh, in the country and come here rather than Americans that come to Puerto Vallarta and then come all the way down here as well. So it's actually kind of a cool experience. So I would recommend uh, getting out of town and actually exploring more of the places outside Puerto Vallarta. So my advice.